All right, folks, uh, we played a series between the Dodgers and the Reds. The, way the broadcast didn't turn out, so I'll explain what happened. Dodgers and Reds, top seeds, going for distinguishing between the number one and number two seeds. Dodgers, a game and a half back, with five games to play, they would need to win three out of five to put them within a half a game. They would get a tiebreaker because they would have the tiebreaker advantage. And one team would be a half game ahead, the other team has a tiebreaker advantage, then I force a tiebreaker game. He'd have to win four out of six. This is what happened. Game one. Here's game one. The dot to beat the Reds, you just gotta be perfect. You can't be sloppy, you can't make mistakes. So bottom of two, Reds get a couple walks and a single load of bases. We get a pass ball. Okay, I can live with that to give up a run. Then we get an out. So there's two outs. Tommy Helms hits a ball in the right field. He can't catch it, so it's a two-run single. And then Bobby Tolan hits a two-run homer. You can't give the Reds extra outs and continue innings. Oh, they'll kill you. And it's five runs. And then they start doing the long ball after that. Johnny Bench back hot again. Pete Rose, homer. It's a 9-3 to laugher. Game one in Cincinnati. So now it's two and a half with four to play in this series. And let's see what happened next. Game number two. Also in Cincinnati. Now the Dodgers come out aggressive. They get a hit. They're not willing to try stolen bases against the bench for minus four arm, but they try a hit and run. It works. They get some singles, get a couple runs there. A double and triple in the second. And in the third inning, and it's five nothing. And then in the sixth inning, though, the Reds doesn't take them long. A Tolan and Rose single, a three-run bomb by Perez, still a homer by Lee May, and it's a 5-4 game. And the Dodgers go, and here we go again. But the Dodgers, realizing they have to pad their lead, they get some runs off of the Cincinnati bullpen that had been stiff earlier this year, but weakened here. Homer by Billy Grabarkowitz, the only slugger on the Dodgers, and by slugger, I mean he hit 17 homers on a Strat card. They got a nice inning in the eighth inning. It's an eight to four game. And you're thinking, okay, the Reds made too many mistakes today. They're going to lose. Eighth inning, a single by Rose, a single by Perez, a double by Bench, a single by May. It's eight seven. Uh, Pete Mickelson has to come in and try and rescue the mess. Gets a couple guys out. But with two outs in the eighth inning, Ray Euler. Who? Ray Euler played for the Seattle Pilots in 1969. He was brought in as an undrafted free agent because uh, of his defense. is a 2E27 with power both ways. Concepcion's a 3E48 with no power. So Euler was brought in as a defensive replacement. He had 165. Two-run homer. 9-8 Reds. And the Dodgers are with their tail between their legs in the ninth inning meekly go three up and three down with a couple ground balls. And the Dodgers are thinking, what do we have to do? What do we have to do now? They, Dodgers, were knocked out in the uh, playoffs last year in the divisional round, being swept four straight by the Reds. So they are now on a six-game losing streak to the Cincinnati Reds. We go to L.A. for game three. Jim Maloney, Andy Messersmith, both pitchers went to the All-Star game. Jim Maloney's not having any of it. And Pete Rose and Bobby Tolan at the top of that red lineup, setting the table, doing more than setting the table. Pete Rose with a couple slide-in head-first triples in the third and fifth innings, a double in the ninth inning. Tremendous day for Pete Rose and for Jim Maloney. They're not going to have any of this Dodger nonsense. They blast them three straight games, quickly ending the series. Three games to zero. And what that does is it makes the standings kind of interesting. So, the Dodgers needed to win 4-2. to two. Reds got them 3-0. The Reds' record is 24-10. Dodgers' record is now 23-18. When you look at the overall records now with these first-place clubs, uh, with an eight-and-a-half game lead, we can crown the Reds' division winners. And we can also crown them a number one seed. There's no one going to catch them 14 over 500 with the uh, tournament winding down to two more rounds. It made the National League West interesting again. Giants now see a path to flipping the Dodgers for first place. 
Giants will be playing the Cardinals. Should be able to dispatch them and eliminate the Cardinals. Maybe pick up a game, a half game or a game. And then in the third round of the postseason, they could very well move from a number five seed to take the Dodgers spot. So the Giants still have mathematical chance. Astros do as well, though. The Astros pretty much have to win every game to get the game and a half. But I guess the Astros have a chance, too. But the Dodgers did make it interesting by losing three straight to the Cincinnati Reds. Sorry I couldn't uh, do the broadcast live. Had a problem with a, with a recording device. We've corrected that for future broadcasts. But thanks for checking this video out. We'll see you next time.